The college's aim in building Cohen Quad had many aspects. Exeter College has been on its Turl Street site since 1315, and an awful lot has been built around us in the meantime. And so there was an urgent need to create extra space for the college in all different aspects of its activities. When I first came in here, I was just so excited. I was thrilled to see just the space, the openness and the natural light that comes into this building. I was just absolutely amazed that this uh, has been built right at the centre of Oxford and it's quite unbelievable to see this building here. It's just a building where I think your soul soars and at the same time it's got a sense of community and when you walk into the learning commons you can't help but smile. It was by far the biggest project that the college had undertaken for 150 years. Not since we hired Gilbert Scott to build the chapel and the lodgings and the library. And we'd no idea if our donors would support us. But they did, amazingly. I look round it and now I see what this has brought us. And it is just a fantastic building. Cohen Quad is so much more than sleeping space for 90 undergraduates. It includes all the different activities that an Oxford college has. So in addition to sleeping space, Cohen Quad uh, provides a cafe. There are a variety of teaching rooms. There's an auditorium that will be extremely useful for musical and dramatic performances. There's a wonderful learning commons for all sorts of informal interaction by all the different categories of people in the college mixing together, which is something we've never had before. Having experienced this as a shell, you know, with no windows in and the rain coming through, um, going from that moment to suddenly seeing students using it and uh, academics teaching in their rooms, it's a warm building in every way. You know, it, it feels as though you want to be here and that's an amazing feeling. Before I moved in, um, if I had a lecture in the morning and one in the afternoon, I would stay in town all day and bring like lots of books in my bags. Here we can have lots of discussions in the learning commons and uh, sit in the Dakota cafe and over a cup of coffee discuss some exciting engineering problems. It's absolutely brilliant. Third year brings a unique set of challenges, um, most pressingly being finals and the design of the building will aid us in being able to study. It's much closer to the centre of town, which makes it easier to get to lectures and do work and so forth. And the informality of the learning area has really been a great feature. I would hands down say that my favourite part of the building is the cafe. My favourite place especially is the stairs. So in the summer it would be really nice to sit outside. There are two windows which overlook the south quad um, and then overlooking it they actually cut through the five floors of the building so you can actually see a bit of life happening on each floor. The south cloister because in our original design ideas of how the south cloister would be used it is used in that way people stop, they stand between the cloisters, they chat, it's chance encounters, it provides a great vista from the street down through the building. It's exceeded our expectations, even though we model in 3D. There are some things that have really flowered through being built. And I think the proportions of the space are wonderful and feel better and more lofty than, than even we imagined. I think this is proof that architecture can affect the way you feel and hence the way you think. Most of all, I hope they feel it's their home. It's going to give us the chance as a college at Exeter to improve everything that we do. I'm especially proud because it's such a team effort. There could not have been a Cohen Quad without this very large number of uh, donors. And uh, I'd like to pay tribute to their generosity, but also for their imagination and their uh, courage in a way in uh, pledging money to a project which um, six, seven years ago uh, seemed pretty daring, I think. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.